the simplified value of secant x into secant y plus tan x into tan y whole squared minus secant x into tan y plus tan x into secant y whole squared s options have been given minus 1 0 secant square x or 1 now tell me is there any condition around x and y here no there is no condition you can choose anything you want for x and y i am better off taking x equals to y equals to 45 you can take different values also or you can take both x and y as 30 both x and y as 60 but i would like to choose 45 my choice you put your own value final answer will come out to be the same there is no doubt about that so just substitute x equals to 45 equals to 45 so secant x secant 45 is root 2 into secant y secant y is also secant 45 which is also root 2 plus tan 45 is 1 into tan 45 is 1 whole squared minus secant or, or you can maybe put x equal to y equal to some other value also 90 or 0 but maybe that will violate some of the conditions yeah we are not you know we are, we are better off taking 45 take the other thing secant x into tan y so secant x secant 45 is root 2 into tan 45 is 1 plus tan 45 is 1 into secant 45 is root 2 whole squared so what do we get root 2 into root 2 is 2 root 2 into root 2 2 plus 1 3 3 squared 9 minus root 2 plus root 2 root 2 into 1 is root 2 root 1 into root 2 is root 2 root 2 plus root 2 2 root 2 2 root 2 whole square is 8 9 minus 8 is equal to 1 that's your answer 9 minus 8 is equal to 1 so option 1 and option 2 get eliminated now you have to be a little careful see while option 4 1 is available you can mark option 4 as the answer but be careful do not neglect option 3 you should not neglect option 3 because you have got 1 option 3 is not 1 so option 4 is the answer no that's not the right approach you have to check option 3 as well why can't option 3 be neglected because after substituting x equals to 45 here by any chance if this also comes out to be 1 then there's a dilemma is it option 3 or option 4 then we have to choose one another set of value for x and y and verify which of these two options are correct but anyway when you take x equals to 45 here what happens secant 45 is root 2 root 2 square comes out to be 2 root 2 square is 2 hence option 3 gets eliminated yeah so don't blindly mark option 4 as answer just because you have got one verify by substituting the values of x and y in the options as well first option and second option directly get eliminated because these are numerically minus 1 and 0 directly given to us which are not equal to 1 but option 3 cannot be neglected directly right anyways option 4 1 is the final answer